welcome to this channel. Hope you all are doing great. Today we will discuss a new Latin phrase, Nemo dat quod non habet. It is a Latin phrase found in the Justinian Digest where it referred that a Roman jurist named Opian. If we translate the Latin phrase each word to English, then it stands like this. Nemo mean nobody. That mean gives. Word mean that. Non habit mean he has not. So the English meaning of this Latin phrase is no one can give what they do not have. Lord Denning remarked, in the development of our law, two principles have striven for mastery. The first is the protection of property. No one can give better title than he himself possesses. The second is the protection of commercial transactions. The person who takes in good faith and for value without notice should get a good title. To understand better, let us have some illustration. 1. A is the owner of a car and B is the driver appointed by A. B have the possessory right to drive the car during the working hours. Here, A have the legal title and ownership of the car. B cannot sell the car as he does not possess the legal title and ownership. So, the title will not pass if B sells the car. 2. A have stolen an article from B's house and sold it to C for money. C had purchased the article by paying money to A. But the title and ownership is not transferred to C as it is a stolen article. B is the lawful owner of the article. From the illustrations, it is clear that one cannot pass better title to another than what he possesses. The application of this very Latin phrase is attached with ownership and possession. The phrase find its presence in the contract law, transfer of property law and sale of goods law. While discussing the application of this phrase and in the Indian legal context, it becomes pertinent to discuss section 27 of the Sale of Goods Act. The objective of this section is to safeguard the interest of the true owner. If a commodity is sold by someone without the proper acknowledgement or authorization from the true owner, then the better or proper title of the commodity or article is not passed or shift to the purchaser. Like all other rules, Nemo that rule also have certain exceptions. They are 1. Sale by mercantile agent or agent. If the agent or mercantile agent is authorized by the true owner to sell, then the proper title will pass to the purchaser. 2. Sale by a person holding or possessing under voidable contract. Then what is voidable contract? Voidable contract is something in between valid and void contract. Voidable contract are enforceable in law. Until one of the party to the contract finds the fault. Now, during the subsistence of the voidable contract, one of the party to the contract sell out the goods to another or purchaser. And he purchased the good in good faith. Then the purchaser will have a proper title. 3. Sell by joint owner. If the jointly owned property is in possession of one of the joint owner under the permission of other joint owners and the possessor sell out the property and the purchaser purchase the property in good faith. Further, during the transaction, the other co-owners or joint owners had not raised any objection to the extent that the seller had no authority to sell. Then the proper title will pass to the purchaser. 4. Estoppel. The term estoppel came from the French word estoppel mean shut the mouth when the seller sell the product of the true owner in his presence and the true owner allows the same either by his act or omission or negligence then the better or proper title will pass to the purchaser 5 sell by finder of the goods 
The finder of the goods hold the same foot of the belly. Like the belly, the finder of the good must keep it with proper care and make search for the true owner. If the true owner is not found or if found but not paying the fees to the finder, the finder can sell the goods and proper title will pass. 6. Sell by pawning. If the pawner fails to pay the debt, then the pawnee can either sue or sell the pledged goods. After giving the proper notice to the pawner for sale, then the proper title will pass to the purchaser. 7. Resell by unpaid seller. When the seller sold an article and the buyer had not paid the purchase price in full and the article is in possession of the seller and the seller made effort to get the full purchase price but failed to get it. In that situation, the seller gains the good title against the purchaser. If the seller resells such article, then the proper title will pass to the second purchaser. 8. Sell by the buyer in possession. Buyer being the owner but not in possession can sell the good to the other and it is valid. Yes, reference. 1. Nitin Gupta vs. State of Meghalaya, 2005, Supreme Court. 2. V. Chandrasekharan and another vs. Administrative Officer and others, 2012, Supreme Court. 3. K. Mohambaran vs. Ram Narayan Brahman, 1935. 4. Morvi Merchantile Bank Limited vs. Union of India, 1965, Supreme Court.